fire, the ring of fire, the ring of fire, the ring of fire. Um, Mike told me to give this to you. What? No, I'm not shaving. I told Mike I'm not shaving. It's so fucking us. It's so frustrating. Mike! No, I, what are you doing here? Just go, I'm go. Mike! Claire, where are you going? That was our makeup girl. We had her one day. Yeah, Mike, I think my character needs a theme song, you know? No, there's enough music in the movie. No, no, something that comes from me, you know, that's mine. Like a, like an archetypal fanfare. What is that? Uh, I'm, I'm doing it, okay? Doing it. He's Don't go friend. to Queens. No, why not? Don't go to Queens. No, why not? Stay in the city. Why not? I'm walking down the street. Why? Walking down the street. Why? Walking down the street. Why? Will someone answer my question when I'm in Manhattan with a question? Will someone answer my question when I'm in Manhattan with a question? Will someone answer my question when I'm in Manhattan with a question? Will someone answer my question when I'm in Manhattan with a question? I will! So, I mean, tell me about mathemology. Sure. I might it's really be into it, you know? It's a system whereby... I mean, I need so much more out of my life. Sure. Well, what you need to do... Also, I heard you guys are like insane star makers. I mean, I could definitely network there. I mean, do I have to act like born again or what? So, Maury, are you ready to do your bio for the making of film for when the professional lady takes over? Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, wait, but wait a minute. If this is like a making of film, I've got to look right, okay? Hi. I'm Maury. Uh, I'm an actor. And, uh... Wait, no, you know what we should do? I mean... We should put more fucking fun in the making of film, you know? Uh, like, you know, act all giggly like Sandra Bullock and, and play pranks I th I and think, everything. I think we're yeah, fine. I mean, screw this. Hey, uh, I'm Maury. I'm, I'm an actor and... Whoa, hey. whoa! Hey. <laughs> what the heck, you little dickens? Oh, man, I love acting with this girl. Oh, I love oh, this guy. <laughs> she's the best, yeah. Okay, that's enough of that crap. Um, can you just use that as a cutaway? Hi, I'm Maury, I'm an actor, and we're about to rehearse a scene from The Love Blood 2, so let's do it. Uh, in this scene, I discover that my girlfriend has been killed in an explosion. My character is enraged. In movie acting, you have to produce an emotion as soon as they say, action! So how do we do it? Like this. DA? Okay, everyone, quiet, please. Actor preparing. Quiet. Knock, 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 knock! Assholes! 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 Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's and shoot this puppy. Action! Don't tell me that she's dead. No. No. No! God! Nook! All right, uh, just cut the nook, yeah? Okay, brilliant, Maury. Uh, get your bell-bottoms on. No, you, said, you, you said Santa Monica Boulevard. No, you, no, you didn't say little Santa Monica. No, there was no little. No little in the Santa Monica. Unbelievable. I got the wrong direction, so, uh, and I got no car. I guess we're waiting for AAA. Yeah. The life of an actor. Oh. No, no, you didn't. There was no little, there was no little, there was no little. So, uh, what would happen if you landed this part at the audition? What about a show business empire? Oh, please. Please, like, I'm gonna stop looking for work just because my friend puts, like, you know, a thousand dollars into some projects? I mean, come on. You know? He wanted me to shave. I'm not shaving. You know, I'm up for this uh, reading of this pilot presentation, Isaac and his sheep. I, uh, I asked him, you know? I mean, I said, could I get a stipend while we're working on these projects? You know what he did? I mean, he, he gave me a list of leads that he stole from an old telemarketing job and said I, I, I could get donations and just keep whatever I got. How ridiculous is that? That's ridiculous. I guess that's not technically unethical since you are a founding member. Hi, Mr. Kazetsky. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Kofsky, hi. My name's Maury Ginsburg. I'm, I'm calling on behalf of uh, ASB Empire. No, no, we don't install rugs. We install um, movies. No dice. So here we are on the set the next day. How'd the audition go? We're ready. My life is my crack. No, no. Okay. All right, we're rolling, speeding. And action. Okay, we gotta find the love blood, too. But how can we do this ourselves? By looking into the faces of children. Would you like love to rule the world? Ow! Jesus! Oh my god! Ouch! What the hell was that? 
She really hit me. I, I'm not working with this woman, okay? All right, all right. My it's God! A shot because we're not Jesus. Going to drag everybody out here again. <laughs> it's my my eye is killing me. This is insane. Wait, wait. So, so you got Mike's stupid niece in the shot before she hit me? Okay, so we'll just go to a close-up of me, all right? Right, we'll just yeah. add her voice later. All right. Ow, 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 you dick! Scene 47, take five, action. Well, it looks like we got our answer. Da, we will go to Rajan Mavi headquarters. Da. Ow. Okay, and ow. cut. Hey, do you think you can tell? No, you can't tell. Good. Okay, take one. Hi, I'm PJ. I guess I kind of do everything for a show business empire. Uh, I did a film in college that won a cultish award. Ah! Yeah! Ah! Ah! Bastard. Thanks! <laughs> Go Vikings! You know, it is interesting that the title of the film, The Two Bloody Vampires Who Loved Cock, did have the words the, love, blood, and the number two in it. Other than that, I telemarketed. Okay, let it go. Josh is the musical genius among the seven founders of a show business empire. His current project, Oedipus Rex, details the life of a beatnik blues singer as seen through Josh's own musical soul. Josh, please introduce yourself and say a bit about your dreams. Hi, uh, I'm Josh, <laughs> and uh, I'm the writer, actor, director, composer, lyricist, uh, choreographer for a show business empire. Uh, I went to Carleton College and got my uh, undergrad degree in performance studies and that inspired me to go on and get my Master of Fine Arts at Mideast Valley Community University Tech. Uh, right. We well, hear you used to date someone in the group. Want to tell us about that? Well, you really do your homework, don't you? Uh, yeah, uh, Lila and I used to be an item. Oh, you don't say. So does the flame still burn there? Well, those are some pretty fun days. Okay, good, good. We'll get them with these human interest stories. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Hello? Mike? Yes? No, I thought PJ explained my fee. No? No? No. Cut. She was way, way, way too expensive. Too expensive. Yeah. But she didn't charge us and told us we could keep the footage she left if we didn't mention her name in the project. Yeah, don't mention my name. <laughs> Janet! <laughs> don't! So listen, I want to rent a steady cam so we could get this smooth circular shot around Maury. Like, how much to rent one? Like a thousand bucks. <laughs> Standing by on ketchup. Um, oh! Oh, no! See? We don't need no steady cam for a frickin' grand shit. Oedipus, he's one of us. He's just like you and me. Gosh, no, there's no harmony on this one. Everybody's just supposed to sing the same note. No, 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 that's not harmony. That's called, um... Uh, uh, acapella, and, and, well, and it's here. not appropriate for this song. No. Just listen to this. Is this a show business empire production of Eddie Puss Rex registered as an equity waiver production with Actors Equity? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're going to have to go ahead and demand that you stop production of this play. You haven't acquired the proper rights.
No, we, we don't, don't need rights. What, give me that much of history. No, 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 no. Five thousand yeah. years yeah. old. Right. I am from the great right. embassy to the right artist council of America. I read the statement of purpose registered with the actor's equity and speaking for the council and the rightful estate poet Sophocles. We hereby lawfully confiscate this play with a warning. If you continue rehearsing this material without being granted the proper rights, you will be imprisoned. Give me that. Understand. No, we don't need rights. We don't understand. No it's the 5,000 year old play, okay? You can't do this. It's, you can't do it. it's, it's like being speaking as the ambassador's council, I'm going to have to advise you comply. Listen to that crap. Oh, Please, on. good day. Hey, it's back my like script! America. We don't need it! Sophocles has an enemy of art. You don't need rights! You can't do that! I guess they can do that. They've been amending laws to favor more dead artists. Which would be good for us in the long run. Shut, Shut up. up. I can't believe that we can't get the rights to do Oedipus. That's the most ancient play in history. How big a bunch of losers do you have to be to have that happen? Ma'am? Ma'am, could you just reach down this drain for me? I, I dropped a hundred dollar bill down there and my, no. my hand's too big. No. To get it, I, I could, I'll give you half of it if you could do it. Yeah. Just watch out for yeah, those, those sewer that. frogs. Sewer frog! Ah! What's wrong with you? Uh, haha! You're screwed, loser! You stupid <laughs> loser! That was real hilarious. You can't get your hand down there. No. <laughs> Rip it! Yeah! What the hell is that? <laughs> You're screwed, you loser! You oh, stupid! You ah! 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 Rodney King, I'm taping. Stop it. Ooh. Ow! Oh. Ow! I'm alone. Ow. Stop Get out of here. Yeah, camera. <laughs> hey, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Hey, uh. Are you guys with uh, Mike Sandals of Show Business Empire? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's are. right. See, I told you we were famous. Are, are we in the phone book? Excuse me, I'll be taking this camera here. <laughs> you tell Sandals if he doesn't pay us the money he owes us by Friday, we know where he lives. Well, can I at least get the get the tape out of the camera? Sure. I'll give you the tape. I've never seen a videotape all the way inside a person's ass before. It was really incredible. Sorry, I uh, guess I may have borrowed money from my old bookie to help fund our projects. Needless to say, this is all going to negatively affect the budget. <laughs> I noticed all your assailants were lefties. What are the chances of that? <laughs> Mike. Since we obviously have to change the premise of the TV show. Yeah. Okay. Why not do something like The Bachelor? I can have sex with eight women, and then at the end we, you know, announce a winner, but like as a twist, we tell her I have herpes, just to see if she really loves me. I just can't even begin to think of all the lawsuits. Oh shit! Did you get the 35 millimeter film? Yes. And my ass hurts, thanks for asking. God, we can't afford it. Well, I can't take it back. What do you mean, where is it? $500 for a 35 millimeter scene. You gotta rent the camera, you gotta process it. What is that, like 20 seconds? Mike, that's three and a half seconds. What? Why didn't you tell me that before? PJ, how much money we got now? Everyone's supposedly close connections got us categorically shunned at every major studio. So all we need is money for film editing. A lot. All right, well, we gotta go for outside help now. We gotta get a producer. We are not giving up. Meanwhile, Josh, just write a new play. Make it an original one-man show. Okay, you know what? I am sick and tired of being jacked around here like a second-class citizen. Maybe I don't want to direct a stupid one-man show. Then don't. Josh, direct yourself. Just, fucking boys network, you know? <laughs> Is it just me, or do you always feel complimented when she says that? <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool.